while the recurrent collapse of Nigeria's national greed is a rising issue that cannot be ignored without a stable and reliable electricity supply, the country's economic aspirations will remain out of reach. Correspondent Kulio Jo in this report examines the implications on the country's staggering economy. The report. The frequent collapse of Nigeria's electricity grid has become a national crisis, severely undermining economic growth and the daily lives of millions of Nigerians. Within one week, Nigeria witnessed three incidents of collapsed grid. With each collapse, the country experienced widespread power outages, paralyzing key sectors such as healthcare, education, and industries. These disruptions are not only inconvenient but have become a major obstacle to Nigeria's development and industrialization, highlighting the urgent need for a comprehensive solution. Great disturbance and occasional national blackout has been a recurring decimal in the Nigerian power sector. I recall that in 2008 it was so rampant that it caught the attention of the then Mr. President and he had to constitute an emergency committee to investigate. In 2013 also we had a surge, um, another resurgence of uh, grid collapse, um, partial and total collapse affecting the whole nation. According to experts, several factors contribute to the reoccurring grid collapses, chief among them being the aging and inadequate infrastructure. Much of Nigeria's transmission network was built decades ago and without proper investment and maintenance, it has become increasingly fragile. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I stressed it and I also talked about really quality. Maintenance, maintenance, maintenance. I stressed it and I also talked about really quality. You can't, I mean, if you don't do really quality, that's, yes, I know they have done analogy. I don't know how much of the notes they have done, but analogy I'm certain. I don't know about the rest. Yes. They have been there. If you take some of them and just bend a little bit, they just break into pieces. So definitely the characteristics of such conductors, they have checked. And we are still carrying them out as if this thing. Most of the studies you are doing, you are still using mass and material 1992 uh, data for the lines. There was a lot of emphasis on Jenko's inaction contributing to the grid collapse. While I'm not here to throw blames or to throw st uh, stones, the need for transparency is very, very critical. The economic toll of these grid collapses is enormous. The Manufacturing Association of Nigeria has long highlighted the impact of unstable power supply on businesses. Many companies are forced to use costly diesel generators to maintain production, significantly increasing their operating expenses and reducing competitiveness. Experts are of the view that addressing the issue of frequent grid collapse requires both short-term intervention and long-term reforms. First, the Nigerian government must invest heavily in upgrading and expanding the grid infrastructure. I think there has to be some further decision, not setting up political uh, committees that they will go and invest in. No. Technical committee, technical analysis of the system that will go deeper than what the politicians will see. And we need to invest in that. Otherwise, we are just wasting our time. The need for transparency, the SCADA that has been coming for about 30 years, we pray today, may it come to pass. Amen. So with that, everyone can see. Jacobs can stay in their station and see oh, what caused this or what could have caused it. There is therefore the need for better coordination between the various agencies involved in power generation, transmission and distribution is essential. The Nigerian Electricity Regulatory Commission and the Transmission Company of Nigeria should enhance oversight and ensure that the different sectors collaborate effectively. Kunle Ojo, Galaxy TV.